Those are the beautiful faces of Terry Michaels and Dave Georgeson from SOE. How you guys doing? Great. <laughs> good, Hello, to see, good to see you again. If you couldn't tell, we're going to be talking about Landmark, although I, I do want to say that uh, I apologize. Our art guy went ahead and made this awesome screen for you that has like the Landmark borders. If you go over to our Twitch channel right now, you'll you'll see it, but he still has the EverQuest Next denotation, so I apologize. <laughs> we'll have them change well, that for the next one. We'll just have to talk about EverQuest Next a little bit, too. Okay, that's fine, too. Oh, everybody there, heard that. There, 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 <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <they did. laughs> we'll have to get Omid to, out there right now doing damage control. Um, okay, oh, he's in the Bermuda Triangle. We're safe. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, he, he can't join us today. Why is he in the Bermuda <laughs> Triangle? Like for a because vacation? We tried to get rid of him. Oh, okay. He wouldn't stick, so we sent him someplace where the aliens could get him. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, no, he's, idea. On vaca- he's on vacation. That makes sense right before SOE Live. Take some breather. Um, okay, well, yeah. here we're in Landmark. I was just talking to the guys right before we, we went live that I hadn't really played the game since um, first first couple weeks of um, of the alpha because I, I wanted to wait for the caves, for the water, and I'm still waiting on the combat, which I'm sure we can hint at, but I, maybe not too much. Um, hint, hint. Hint, hint, and, and all that stuff. But So I'm in-game now. I'm with the guys. Uh, I'll be the one piloting. You don't have to look at my mug. You, and uh, we've got uh, Terry's character, Farron, right here. I don't know where uh, where Dave is. Dave disappeared. Where's Farron? Are you? Oh, uh, oh did we know? I, 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 I teleported to him, Dave. Oh, you did. Okay, right. Yeah, that, I figured that was easier. What's your character, then, Bill? Oh, I'm uh, I'm Be Good. B E G U D. Oh, I see. Okay, coming to you. By the way, I still. Oh, and if you guys see my system lagging, we're not sure what's going on with that one. It could be my system. It could be the server side. There was a maintenance schedule for today, but the guys canceled it for me. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they canceled it It's all it for Bill's me. fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just for Bill. It had nothing to do with the fact that we found some bugs at the last minute. Yeah. Yeah, nothing at all. <laughs> nothing to do with that. I've even I've tried lowering the settings. We'll try it again. We'll go to low just for a second because we don't want the stream to look like muddy and dark. But like it still yeah. it still lags a little bit. It's it's something with the CPU processing. Not sure what. But weird. Um, it's yeah, it is weird. I, I have no issues when it's on uh when it's when I'm not streaming it, so I don't know if it's maybe tied to OBS too, but who knows. Some oh, yeah. There's trail. It might be it might be cloning some of your core. Oh uh, yeah, some of your cores. There's smoke jumper. Hello. And who's who's Trailblazer Clarity? She just there we go. She she's just one of my friends. I'm sure she just teleported to me. Oh, okay. We get <laughs> lots of random of that. We, I, yeah. I, li- I like to hang from very high places and watch people drop out of my butt. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> don't we all, Dave? Don't we all? Okay, so um, well, let's talk about some of the stuff, and maybe we can run around and see some of the stuff that you guys have recently been adding, because obviously there's lots of copper around here, and we've all seen people dig with their axes. You know, we can blah, blah, blah. We can dig. We can get materials. That's fun. But you've added caves and water and all that stuff, so let's go find some maybe yeah uh, so it, it looks like we have a cave a little southeast of us so if I do this right what are we doing do it. southeast is this way dude I'm gonna turn down uh, the in-game sound a little bit here don't want these guys that's southwest that's what I meant to say <laughs> <laughs> oh he moves so much faster than me with his grappling hook I have all this stuff yeah. that I have to get now <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm uh, uh, really spoiled. I've been using these movement methods for a long time, so <laughs> uh, I'll slow down. <laughs> so Again. it looks like on the map we should be coming up to a cave here somewhere. Hopefully it's not just uh, one that's under the surface. We can actually find a cave entrance. Well, if it's under the you surface, let's dig. lag issues. Yeah, can't you see it? It's weird. Yeah, yeah, because uh, you're even having interpolation on my system. Like I'm not seeing it on anybody else. Just your, just your. Uh... Just me, huh? Yeah, it's gotta yeah. be something. To... I think you're right about OBS. We'll have to look into that. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't tried running it at the same time. So we're right above a cave here. Let's see if there's an entrance. Um, uh, I just got to this area, so I didn't get a chance to scout it out and see. But. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Oh no! That's it looked like a cave entrance, but it wasn't. Oh, it could be a cave entrance. So we can our, make it one. Because the map is pretty much like a Google map, so you can't really tell unless you know what to look for on the map, right? Yeah, well, what you can do is... we're. Oh, wow, we, we've moved a ways away from it. This is a very small entrance. It must be right below the surface. 
Um, you guys hang out for a second. I'm going to fly around, and I'll find this cave entrance real quick. Okay, good, because if I'm standing uh, still, things look really good. Yeah, do that, <laughs> and I'll, I'll find us an entrance. What about some emotes, Dave? What can we do to entertain people with emotes? <laughs> oh, sorry, I was digging a hole into the cave. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just using the polarizer to get in there real quick, see where the entrance was. Uh, but yeah, um, emotes, uh, we haven't added a lot of emotes recently because uh, we've been working on the actual features and stuff. But yeah, of course, we still have like tribal dance and happy and sad and all the different uh, emotes work at, uh, at different... Um, like the upper body emotes are separate from the lower body emotes. Yeah. So that you can combine and uh, con combine them for different effects and stuff, which is fun. <laughs> and I seem to have dug a big hole to nowhere, so this was not useful. Tribal dance is fun. <laughs> I like spinning around with tribal dance. Right here. Yeah. Hey, Bill, can you invite Smoke Jumper to the group? I thought I had. I don't know if he. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't work. I wanted to type invite. I'll just go there. There we go. Uh, invite to party. There we go. I see it this time. Oh, okay. I did not ignore it. Ooh, somebody has dynamite. Did you hear <laughs> that? Oh, is that what we heard? You dynamite much? <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. I'm trying to think about what I could turn off ah. here. I'm going to turn off some stuff. See if we can't improve my frame rate with uh, OBS. Yeah, we'll, we'll have okay. to try that here and see if we can figure out what's causing the slowdown there. Yeah, it's really interesting. Like I said, with without the streaming running, uh, it's not a problem. And I would use XSplit because I have that too, but it crashes my system lately, so I haven't been using it. And OBS is just a lighter program. Whoa, Clarity's got one hell of a drill, though. Tell, tell me about that drill. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, the drills are fun. Like, uh, looks like Clarity probably has hers uh, updated. Ah! You can't see my screen, can you? She's digging me a hole. No, we can't. Yeah, so I was going to show you stats, but when they're uh, when they're fully upgraded, you can really uh, tear through some stuff pretty fast. So you can see, like, you can tear the dirt away really quickly, which allows you to, uh, which is great because when you're down in the caves, which we'll show you soon, did you find yeah. one yet, Farron? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually dig dig to dig to me, and I'll dig to you. I'm in what? one right now. Okay, all right. Come <laughs> with me, be good. All right, I'm going to try. We'll uh we'll cheat down to him. We'll not cheat down to him, but we'll uh. Wait, is he like on the bottom of the get world? Get closer to him. No, no he I'm... just. <laughs> Let's see, where'd he go? I hear him. I don't see his name. I'm digging. I'm digging there you right are. towards you. I'm down. Okay. From you, down at an angle. I All think. right. All right. We're so digging. If you come to me, him. we'll dig a hole and we'll meet in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm aiming right at you. I'm coming down to you too. You have to bear with me. Here we go. We're about to reach. <laughs> Oh, it's there like the are. Transcontinental Railroad all over again. If only we could get me to stop looking okay. like Claymation. Holy cow, how far down are we going? Oh, awesome. it goes way farther than that. Awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here's the so, caves. Or yeah, one, of the, is, one of the caves. How do I yeah, stop? This is a pocket cave. How do I stop dancing? <laughs> oh, uh, type slash stand. Stand. Thank you. It's a good lord. Well, maybe you're just a really happy guy. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, look, under here, I'm not having any problems. Now, that is odd. Uh, maybe I'll oh, still well, have some. There's, there's not a lot of cells around you. So it's what we were talking about before. There's something going on with the processing on your machine that's causing a problem. Interesting. Uh, and and I'll, I'll, we'll take a look at it here, and we'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, this is this is a small cave. This is a pocket cave that was what we... This is what I was seeing on the map. Uh, but it gives you an idea of, of what the caves look like underground. You can they, they split off here. This is just one of the four different uh, cave biomes we have. This is but so these cool. are sprinkled throughout the world. So, and uh, how uh, can you how can you tell when they're on the map? Like if I was looking at the map like you were, or did you use dev tricks to? <laughs> no, no. So if you, if you bring up your map mm -hmm. and up at the upper right corner of the banner at the top of the thing is called show claimable land. Yeah. This is a this is the one way you can find them and see you see the little circles that are on the map that are red. Oh, okay. That means that means there's a cave really near the surface. Okay. Um, see, and we have to prevent players from claiming those spots, otherwise nobody can get, get in the, the caves. caves. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, and that's so they show up on the map. It's yeah, only incident. when they're near the surface, though. Um, so I thought this would be an entrance here because it looked like it was really close. It turns out it was just a little bit under the surface of the mountain. 
Um, normally, when you see these on the map, it's actually one of the surface entrances to the caves. Yeah. Uh, there's, also, there's also these devices you can uh, craft called ore prospectors and ground sounders. Um, and when you uh, make those things, you can... Um, well, if you, I don't know whether you saw the effect because I, was, I wasn't standing next to you when I, I triggered it. Mm -hmm. but I'll show it to you here in a second because it takes a little while uh, to regenerate. But okay. when you do that, it shows you all the little pockets of nodes that are out uh, through the world. So then you can take your uh, pulverizer out like this and be able to dig through the ground to try to find other pocket caves elsewhere in the world. Okay. So when yeah. I use the effect, it looks like this. See that kind of radar yeah. effect that's around me? And then it shows me where all the nodes are off in the distance so I can burrow towards them. That's and cool. you can explore down here by using the pulverizer and finding all the little pockets. And there's treasure chests and stuff in the in the different caves. And then very soon, after SOE Live, there will start to be monsters down here too. Hey, you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> well, I would kind of leaked that one already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we're, we're working on those right now. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun when they're in the game. I can't wait. I think, like, I think uh, there are a lot of people who really love the exploring and the crafting and everything like that. But and I do too. But my main thing in games is also survival. So I'm looking forward to exploring and crafting and surviving while I do those things. Yeah. Well, it's it's always fun. Uh, one of the things we talk about in the game is that there there are different ways to play it. And every time we add something new to the game, we're just adding another way to play the game. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not a I'm not I can build some stuff, but you know. I build things out of Legos, and when I do, I follow the, the instructions. instructions in the booklet. <laughs> you know, that's how I build with Legos. So it's kind of like that in in Landmark. I'm I don't have that level of creativity that that like Dave and Emily have. You found the way out. <laughs> I found the outside. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Um, but uh, it's it's oh, it's fun because like I love going around and mining and exploring and finding the caves and the, the treasure chests and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I get tons of fun. Uh, you know, I have tons of fun just doing that. Uh, and when we add combat, that'll add another thing for me to do: go kill things, collect things. Uh, different people are going to enjoy the game in different ways, and that's what we really love about this. Will the people that uh, actually kill things and collect things will they be able to help out with the crafters in a way that that kind of stuff, or is it more like separate separate sort of uh, actions? Oh that you'll no, take? they're all connected. Cool. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're going to be things that builders want that you have to go out and you, people who are killing stuff they'll be able to find things that builders want. Builders will be able to make things. You know, crafters will be able to make things that the that the, the the adventurers want all that kind of stuff. It's it's all about social interaction. Cool. And you'll be able to uh, have voice chat by then too, right? Yep. Cool. Yeah, we're working on that. Uh, it, it hit a small a bump in the road uh, with some difficulties we were having, but it's definitely on the roadmap. We're working on it right now. Awesome. Yeah, I was looking at the the new updated blueprint with all the stuff. Sorry, coming not up. roadmap. Blueprint. blueprint. Thank you. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Terry. <laughs> Which I just updated about ten minutes ago, by the way. Oh, did you? Yeah. I'll have to go back in there. Again. Yeah. Um, uh, just for the next couple of weeks and stuff, because we missed the update this week, so uh, we moved stuff around, and uh, and then I added a few more details that we decided we could commit to. Okay. Um, so the next couple of weeks is a little bit more detailed now. Excellent. Um, and and we also recently you ent you added the caves and the caves are there with like with uh, nodes of materials and everything like that. But tell us about some of the other stuff that was recently added and and maybe show us around a little bit. Like I know that water's here, but I don't know if we have water nearby. Oh yeah, we do. Uh, out, out east. There's an ocean yeah. out there. Yeah. Let's go east. <laughs> yeah, let's head east. That looked like the closest I was going to say. And uh, we'll head that way. But, I mean, it's not just... Once we get out to the ocean, I'll show you some of the other things as well. Because okay. we also just, uh, last week, added... Last week? Is that right, Dave? Uh, the time flies so quickly. We just added um, water as a material. So you can oh, place right. water like in pools and things like that as well. Yeah, you know, so. guys, if you really want to see a lot of this stuff, we should just go to my claim. Because there's a submarine base next door to it and all kinds of stuff. Well, let's oh, do so that. you want to do that? Yeah, there's all kinds of cool ways to show water stuff. Let's do okay, that. Okay, so yeah. then let's go. Let, let me. Uh, no, let, I'll just. Uh, I'll port there, and you guys can come to me. Okay. Okay. Do you have a Do you have a crystal? Um, of course I do. No, I meant I meant be good. No, let's be find good out. can just teleport to friend. I have a portal shard. Okay. You can just teleport to friend. Oh, oh really? right from the friends list. You're right. Okay, cool. Yeah, give me a minute. Odd. It says you're offline. Did you go offline? Or are you just loading? No, no, that's just that's a glitch. Okay. Oh, because he's it's, teleporting. It's because I teleported. That happens. Although, there we go. There we go. And basically, when it teleports me, it loses me for a second, and then you'll see me come right back online in just a second too. Mm -hmm. Should be about now. Mm, I hope so, because I already teleported to you. Oh <laughs> well. 
<laughs> See how that works. Yeah. I'm at my claim. I wonder where you are. <laughs> Under it. Could be. I see how it is, Dave. We're not on each other's friends list. Oh. <laughs> oh I was looking at on mine. No. It's hysterical. Must be some inner office rivalry. Mm. Well, you can use the gallery if you want to, Farron. Oh, you got it. Uh, You're there. You the, yeah. the builder versus the killer. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been to my claim before, so I won't show it off. Um... But uh, that island that's, uh, well, I think you're still loading in, right? Because yeah, I'm still loading about 68%. I see you. You are standing in the air. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we're making, uh, we're pointing at you and making funny faces now. That's fine. Do tribal dance. <laughs> <laughs> Our benevolent floating god. I'm wearing you as a hat now. I gotta say, Jeremy Soul's music, though, is crucial. Ugh. Oh, yes. Yeah, Jeremy's a great guy to work with. He's got all kinds of really good ideas all the time. And um, we haven't even got half of his music in yet because there's still a bunch of daytime, nighttime stuff that we don't have the code in for to be able to uh, play all the music back on. But, yes, it's very cool. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see if you just look over to the side, you can see the ocean. You know, down oh, the, hey, down look the beach at that. That, that, that giant blue thing. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. So come on down here and you can see my uh, hot tub castle. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen and, this uh, <laughs> yeah, It's just a little silly thing that I put in there when the water got put in. Uh, but the uh, the water inside this hot tub is uh, voxelized. So you can actually place it and um, and put it in to shapes. Um, you have to walk around to the door. Be good. I made the windows just a little bit too small for that. Yeah, I'm walking like a drunkard right now because of the, uh, because of the, the little bit of stuttering, however. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> load, load, load. Oh, my God. Uh, can I jump in? Yeah, so Yay. water, yeah. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too shallow. I need to make a deeper one so uh. the splash effects show. Because right now, what it's doing is it's putting you into into the wade animations. Yeah. Um, if that was a little bit like if you come up to the well, we'll show you on the uh, on the rooftop. It's like so uh, that's uh, it's like jelly. Like I'm jumping into jelly right now. <laughs> yeah, here I'll I'll make a uh, a bigger thing so you can see. Okay. So I'll just make a big area of it. Oh, by the way, you you probably can see my tool there now too, right? Yes, we can. The selection tools. You didn't used to be able to see that, remember? Nope. So yep. now you can watch other people build. That's a new improvement we just added a few days ago. Oh, look now. But it's anyway, moving. are you? Yeah. Oh, I think I crashed. That's oh no. I did too. Really? You guys crashed and I'm still alive. Wait, I bet I crashed. Oh. <laughs> nope, I'm still good. Huh. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Yeah, so will I. I, I did something happened. bad. Well, I wonder what it was. Your characters are still here. We'll just stare at them, and I'll go swimming. Okay. Well, they <laughs> are back attractive back looking. Really. <laughs> but anyway, the uh, the voxelized water, you can basically do everything to it that you can do a normal voxel. So um, uh, you can smooth it and make micro voxels out of it and all kinds of different things. Um, and so people are doing all kinds of crazy things like castles made of water and water vaders. Water so they make vaders. a tube of water. Yeah, so you make a tube of water between different floors and then just swim up and down the tube instead of having to build That's stairs. really cool. I like that. Yes, it is. It's yeah. really cool. Uh, our players are infinitely creative. And I should be back in the game now. There we go. I think yep, you are. I think I might have. I think I might have crashed. You have to tell me if you see uh, me still. I see you, but you're not moving. Yeah, that's what yeah. happened to you guys too. Yeah. Welcome, Whatever folks. This is closed was... beta. <laughs> it was a bug. Well, I'm sure we'll find it soon, and it, it appears to be whatever I did crashed all of you guys. So I'm going to blame me on that one. Mine's just a uh, hard lock, so I'm probably going to have to back out of that somehow. Yeah, I just I had to shut mine down as well. Okay. It was waiting on something, and I don't know what. It's okay. You guys can see my lovely desktop. I wonder if it has to do with uh, seeing what you were doing, Dave. No, I don't think so. Okay. I think it has more to do with filling a selection. I think we still have that bug. Oh, okay. It's okay. We'll load back in. Well, I see that now. And every, <laughs> nice. And everybody's getting they a nice. Those. Oh, what'd you create? A water, a water vader. I need to get in. <laughs> I'm swimming yeah. in it right now. I just made a big cube of water so you can jump into it and see that voxelized water acts like regular <laughs> water. I'm gonna try to make uh, landmark a uh, high priority thing and see if it doesn't. Oh, that's a good idea. 
That is actually. What does it show up as a service in services? Uh, uh, well, I mean, you mean just as a process? It yeah, should, a... should show up as uh, it is Landmark called 64? Land. I think it's Landmark 64.exe. Let me make sure. It is. Yeah, it's I there. Okay. But I don't think I can actually make it a high priority. Because it's not a service. It's not a service. In services, I should be able to make it one, though. In processes, you can. How's yeah. It? On Windows 8? Oh. Oh. Ah. You're on your dude. Aha. And now we know my whole with, problem. You live with Satan, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I probably do. <laughs> performance CPUs at 66% and the utilization is coming from 19% of my CPUs being used by Landmark right now. Look, we're hmm. we're testing. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gathering data. We're gathering really data. No, it's really not. No, it's not. All right, well let's uh let's just load in instead of sitting here staring at my uh my uh okay. character. Let's we'll see, see what, what else can I tell you while you're loading. <laughs> so computer... we had we had it in the voxelized water. Um, and we've been adding a ton of stuff. Actually, you know what I should do is remind myself by just pulling up the uh, materials. Blueprint. Oh, no, the, the blueprint, blueprint yeah. aspect, right, so we can remember what we did. Because <laughs> as soon as we're done, we move on. We don't need to think <laughs> yeah. about it. It's just like move on. We get so much other stuff to do. Well, um, so we did. I, I can. I've got it on my board here. So we've got. Uh, we did roaming vectors, which improved a lot of the the fine detail that people could do in some places, which is really awesome. I, the builders yeah, really like that. Easy crazier stuff, yeah. Yeah, um, we added in the, the smooth cursor sizes so that you have much greater control over when you're building. You know, before it was That's arbitrary right. sizes in yeah. cursors, and now it just goes up by one voxel, and you can go oh, up to, wow. I want to say it's like 40, 40 voxels or 50 voxels, Dave. Yeah, it's oh, no, large. It's, it's bigger than that. Oh, I've never, I've never built some bigger than that. Yeah, I think it's like a, it's up to a hundred, I think. But uh, um, there's also um, the demo mode, which we were showing you before, so everybody can see the tools. Um, and we also added in the my store stuff, so that you can right. uh, take care of all the stuff that you add to Player Studio. So you can add screenshots and change the uh, the title and the description and all that other stuff. So you can manage your own business inside Player Studio, which just launched a while back. I don't know whether you've been playing since uh, Player Studio was in. Actually, no, I haven't. I know I see the my store. Is that what you were just talking about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so, uh, if you go into the uh, showcase uh, interface, the gallery, the competitions area, mm -hmm. the marketplace, all of that stuff is way more robust than the last time you were there. In fact, no probably kidding. most of that wasn't even functional when you were here before. Um, and so now players can show off, and they they're uh, participating in these competitions and workshops and stuff. It's really cool. Um, the stuff you should see the stuff that's on the Dark Elf Workshop. I mean, oh, yeah. really, you should. You should take a minute and look at it. Um, so when you go into the competitions area, uh, look at that stuff, and then we're about to announce all the winners for that okay. next week. Yep. Competition. I'm, now I'm just looking at the city, the Dark Elf City Gate. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. There's, <laughs> yeah, there's some those, really amazing stuff. Those are just the screenshots. You should see it in, yeah. in person. I, and you'll be able to because we're going to spin up. Um, every time we do one of these workshops, we're going to spin up a small island that's just for the winners of those workshops. Okay. Uh, the competitions and stuff that we do. So uh, there will be little museums to all these different competitions as the players help us to uh, hone in the vision and the flavor for EverQuest Next. So what they're doing right now is we give them all our, our, our concept art and our art Bibles and stuff like that. And then they go nuts coming up with all kinds of crazy ideas based on that. And then we change our art Bibles to accommodate the player ideas. And mm -hmm. the winners, uh, the, the comp uh, competition winners, show off the end results of those ideas. <laughs> um, and then we take off and run from there. So the players are literally helping us build EverQuest next. Yeah. That's awesome. And, and in every and, way possible. And not only, uh, you know, you, people can say easily enough that it's, you know, oh, it's cheap labor, you get the players to do it. But then they can sell it in the store and make some money off of it themselves. Absolutely. And go. besides that, uh, if you think that that's all we have to do is just yeah, let them uh, put yeah. a couple of competitions <laughs> yeah. in and we're done with uh, EverQuest next, well, maybe there's a couple other things. <laughs> just a few. Just a few. <laughs> I'm reminded of our friends at Storybricks. <laughs> yes. And many yeah. other things. Who, who will be showing stuff at SOE Live? Yep, I'll be there. I can't wait. We'll, we'll be showing uh, some of the AI stuff. Um, I've, I've already tipped off the 
tipped off folks that will be showing some combat oriented stuff. Yeah. And then I guarantee you there's some surprises that we haven't talked about to anybody at any time. Good. Yep. Except for me, because I know everything. Not really. No one's talked I to me ever. I don't think we've <laughs> talked to anybody about this. Like, not nobody. No, I don't just, think so. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be a nice surprise for people. Um, anyway, so this is voxelized water that you're swimming in right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, st yeah. I'm actually lost in the marketplace. I was having so much fun. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, love, yeah. I love this giant cube of water. It looks really great, yeah. too, when you jump into it. it well, and, and Dave was mentioning it before, it works like all the other materials in the game. Yeah. So you can craft anything you want out of it. You know, you can make yeah, a I'll cylinder of it. You could, you could, yeah, you could smooth it. Do you just, you could, you do you just mine it? Castle into water. How do you get the material you it itself? Snow and ice. Yeah. That's how you get water in our game. Oh. You melt snow and ice and you get water. It's that amazing. Is yeah. Such a smart idea and so clever. I like that. <laughs> Like oh, yeah, you can I, see that it sounds like I'm being now. yeah, it sounds like I'm being facetious, but I'm serious. That's such a smart idea. Like, how do you players get water? Oh, well, they melt snow and ice. Yeah, <laughs> it was an obvious answer when we were starting yeah. to talk about it. So, you know what I'm picturing right now is we should make a nice video for SOE Live. You guys should make this video because I don't have the time, and I know you guys have nothing but free time. <laughs> uh, a fro yeah, totally. a, a, we got nothing to do. A frozen let it go video? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> There has to be one at least. Out it has there to somewhere. be. I'm sure somebody's so, made it. So I didn't make this, but come over and check this out. Like swim over to this uh, little man-made island. This uh, the, uh, my neighbor spider put in. Okay. And uh, one day I came over here, and this island just appeared out of nowhere. He put a claim down in the ocean, and then he started. He just came over here and started building. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's neat. A man-made island. That's pretty cool. And then uh, actually, come over to this side because the main entrance is over here. I love how you actually move up and down on the waves, by the way. Yeah. Me too. Really happy with swimming and the way the oceans look. And uh, the animators did some really amazing stuff with the animations, too. I like the way it feels and looks when you're swimming. Oh, so then wow. I, I came swimming over here, and what do you know? There's the freaking Nautilus. <laughs> you guys are there already, and I'm having trouble. <laughs> it's not fair. I should have made you guys a uh, pilot. There we go. Whoa. Isn't that cool? That is amazing. And he's not even done yet. That's just like a work in progress. But uh, the fact that uh, you know you can build something that amazing and just kind of on the sly. He just put that up over a weekend because like I, I logged out on Friday and then I was busy on the weekend. And I logged back in on Monday and the island had appeared and then there was a submarine pin and stuff inside. It's very cool. How do you put this yeah, up it's... in a weekend? <laughs> Well, apparently he had done a little bit of the work, and some of these builders are super fast. Yeah. I mean, really, really fast. Uh, it looks like... I uh, mean, there's... Did anybody else crash? I did as well again, yeah. Okay. So, so I, I something's bet going on today. It's me. It's, uh, it's all Bill Murphy. There's something, something evil about us three together, that's for sure. Uh oh don't say that. People will curse the uh, landmark and EverQuest next development. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's very frustrating to me. That's all right. Yeah. It, we we can let's just say it's the uh, it's the maintenance that was that was canceled. <laughs> hey, I, whoever this uh, neighbor here is, they trust me a lot because I have build permissions. <laughs> Wreck it all! Wreck it all! It's all mine now. I'm jumping back in too. Cool. But you can see, like, uh, water allows a, a whole other level of uh, just messing around with stuff. Absolutely. Because. Um, well, we don't have a uh, building with uh, air yet, but it'll come in uh, after SOE Live sometime. Mm -hmm. When we have building as air, uh, when we have air as a material, you'll be able to actually place uh, voxels of air underneath the water so that you can make areas like sea labs with you know spaces <laughs> you can walk around in that are airtight. As a as a father of a of a toddler, I immediately want to make the Octonauts lab and put it. Of course, <laughs> yeah. put it under there. Yeah. I mean, uh, personally, so I cool. want to I want to empty out this uh, Nautilus and make sure there's a huge pipe organ in the back. That's there you go. There you go. <laughs> all I want, and then I can stand back here and be megalomaniac, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, one of our one of our uh, chat users, Dakirn, says blame Omid 2014. So if anything's wrong, just that blame Omid. Yeah, that's it's fair. Has hashtag totally safe. <laughs> And and he can't uh, he can't deny it yeah. nor can he protect himself so that's the better way to do it too. exactly since Even he's better. since he's off hiding in Bermuda we'll blame we'll blame uh, Omid 
All right, so where did I oh, end Oh, man, up? did you see that? That was really cool. No, I'm, no. Just, mess- I'm just messing with Bill because he wasn't in yet. I know. Oh. Um, I got... <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I got... Sorry. I can see the like a, a Greek statue on the ocean somewhere off in the distance. I think I'm on top of Spider's Claim. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're probably seeing Furiona over there. If we walked all, if we swam over to that island, there's a huge statue of Furiona V. Nice. Oh yeah, that's what I see over there too. But I actually see there's like a, like a Parthenon looking thing off on top of the water too, a little bit. Oh, I know which side of the island you're on. To the east. Mm -hmm. I see you. Oh ah! (laughs) He jumped on me. (laughs) Um, We're getting a little bit off track. Is what else? What else? uh, I mean, you guys have been doing so much work lately. Every every week or so, there's there's new stuff going in. Uh, what are some of the other big things yeah. we want to show? Uh, well, we like I said, we've been hiding some of the surprises for the show. Um, yeah. But next week we'll be adding in uh, probably glass as a material, so people can start making windows. Okay. Um, and uh, and rotatable templates, which are sorry, rotatable pasteboards is really what I should say. Yeah. Like right yeah. now, you can only uh, when you uh, copy something, you can only rotate it 90 degrees. Um, as of next week, you'll be able to smoothly rotate it into any in, in, into any angle. Now, there's some artifacting that goes with that, but like when you're using props and stuff like that, like a lot of times you'll make like a lattice of, 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 of uh, props, and they're kind of a pain in the butt to adjust because you have to adjust each one of them individually. But as of next week, you'll be able to like grab a group of them, um, uh, copy that, and then be able to rotate those so you can make. Um, arches and stuff like that of props really really super easily I was messing around with it yesterday that's very cool um, and then of course and then of course also you can rotate like for sculptors it's going to be phenomenal because they can take make a gigantic arm and they go ah, I really wanted it to be at a different angle right now they'd have to recreate the whole damn thing yeah right. uh, as next week they'll be able to just grab it copy that whole area and then tweak it down and smooth the parts that get a little artifacted very nice yep. Yeah, so it'll be really useful. Would you say that there's a, a, a large learning curve towards uh, building things in Landmark, or is it relatively easy to come in right away and, and start making cool stuff? Because when I, when I last played, I was yeah. making a house, and then you wiped the plots. Uh, so it's been a while. <laughs> uh, and I, yeah. I want to start building something again, but I don't want it to just look like a pile of poo sitting somewhere in the desert. <laughs> well, well um, uh, to be honest, it's a little bit like any game. Uh, when yeah. you first come into the game, the idea behind a, a game design is to make it intuitive to uh, play, but then the more that you play, the better that you get at it. Like in FPS, you, you're going to get your butt shot off the first couple of times you play, right? Or hundreds. Um, or if you're... Or, yeah, or, or, or uh, any of the... Uh, you know, Dota style games or LOLs or any of that other stuff, you're going to get worked a few times. Well, when you're in this game, you're not going to get worked by other players necessarily, but in order to get up to the top level of competition in the building, you're going to have to put some effort into it. But in my opinion, it's very easy to make stuff. My claim, uh, the reason why I built my claim the way I did um, with the dirigible and all that other stuff, I didn't use any of the super uh, amazing tricks that the high-end builders are using, because I wanted to show people that you can just use the basic tools and make some really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and in fact, most of the builders are that way. When you yeah. uh, talk to the Voxelmancers, which is kind of what we sh- we call the uh, elite guys, um, the Voxelmancers <laughs> tend to use uh, stuff like voxel reactors, and they have all these ways to tweak little verts and all that other stuff. And generally, it's not necessary. Unless you're doing something super precise or very, very highly detailed, you just don't need those kinds of techniques. So um, we'll probably end up baking a lot of that stuff into the game as an advanced stuff, uh, advanced stuff for players to use later on. But for now, yeah, you can do a, a crazy amount of stuff with just the basic tools. That's cool. Yeah, and and the thing I like to use uh, to talk about when we're when, when that question comes up because it comes up fairly often is we want it to be easy to learn and difficult to master. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, or a lifetime to master kind of thing where you can always learn something new to make something a little differently. Uh, and I think that's just a, a good way to put a game together because it gives you length of length of playing time, right? You don't want to come in and be able to do anything day yeah. one. Well, and that's kind of one of the things I was going to ask too. Um, is what sorts of uh, progression and stuff like that are those? Some of the things you're also hiding for uh, for SOE Live, like character progression, besides obviously the crafting progression that's in the game now. 
Well, a lot of that's going to become a lot more obvious when we start getting the combat and the itemization and everything like that in for combat. Um, so you can expect that that's going to go along. But the theory behind it isn't really that difficult. The theory behind it is that we're not climbing a level ladder like you're used to in, re in, in a lot of RPGs. What we're doing is we're doing horizontal progression. So as you uh, gain more items or you acquire new loot or whatever it is, you gain abilities. And when you have those abilities, that gives you the, uh, the opportunity to do more and more stuff. Like we were talking about the movement abilities earlier. Like right now I have a lunar anklet, which allows me to uh, um, uh, uh, jump real high. Um, then I have the feather in the bottle, which allows me to double jump. I have the... Um, uh, the belt of the zephyr, which allows me to glide when I'm uh, when I'm uh, when I jump up high, I can I can snap glide. So you can see that like when I'm doing this. So here I'm gliding. Um, all these things are different movement abilities. Mm -hmm. Well, imagine that those kinds of things are also extrapolated over into combat, so that you can get um, items and weapons and stuff like that that allow you to do different things. When you pick up a magic wand, you can use spells. When you pick up a sword, you can do sword things. Those kinds of things are how our our game works. So as you acquire more things, as you acquire uh, cooler things you're able to do more and more stuff does that make sense makes absolute sense so it's it's not necessarily yeah. just about clicking little boxes and saying this is now what i can do it's about how you actually equip your character and exactly. that's one of the reasons why you will always need crafters. You will always need builders. You will always need those people, no matter what you like to do. Because, like for instance, if you're an adrenaline seeker, you need you need crafters, or at least you need to be interested in crafting enough to be able to get cool items or be able to upgrade them. Because some items, and we'll cover a lot of this in SOE Live, but some items are super rare and can only be found in places. But then once you find them, you can cannibalize them and make even cooler stuff from uh, from that. But you'll need to know somebody that likes to craft. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, uh, builders will become very popular when we have the PvP and the dungeon mastering stuff in the game because not everybody wants to build all that stuff. They just want to lay out a scenario or make a cool battlefield map. And so the builders become very popular for those people and it all goes back and forth. And then there's also people that just like to play and they don't want to do any of that work, which is probably actually the majority. And the more, that, more of the cool stuff that uh, is in the game, the more stuff there is for those people to do. That's awesome. Now, yeah. is it okay it's to It's right take... around the corner. Exactly. It's like two weeks away now, right? Uh, yeah. nah, not quite, but close. But um, Yeah, two and a half. Two and a half. So is it okay to take a couple questions from the audience, and you guys can say whether or not you're saving stuff for SOE Live, that kind of thing? Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, one is, when combat does get added, are there going to be animals wandering around the world that can attack you, or is it only going to be in controlled environments? <laughs> The keys Wait till SOE lies. <laughs> the, the keys are going to get dangerous. Okay. Yeah. There you go. The, over, the Overland is uh, intended to be a lot less dangerous because we want people to be able to explore and visit and socialize and uh, and not everybody wants to go get their face pounded by something. <laughs> um, but the deeper you go, the more the more risky things will be. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go so far as to say that there won't be any danger on the surface. It will just That's be correct. lesser. Less danger. Lesser. Yeah, yes. that makes sense. And that the, ad the adrenaline seekers will have jobs. Good. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to get my spelunking gear all set. Um, <laughs> another question. Let me roll back up a little bit here. Um, will <laughs> this is might be a this might be a joke, but it's a good question. Will plaster be in game when combat is added so we can fix our broken bones? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Um, we're not planning on adding that. <laughs> I'm not, not answering for that reason. broken bone questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, Dave. <laughs> I'm not answering that. I'm going to pout through this question. Now. Just go ahead and show everybody your foot. <laughs> everybody will understand. <laughs> the foot. <laughs> um, another another good question then would be: uh, Will the dev team is the dev team malleable when it comes to the economy in both Landmark and EQ Next? As in, will we be able, will players be able to have uh, input on how the economy? That, that's not. That's no different. <laughs> As I said, that's an easy question to answer because we've always been saying that we're, you know, we put our ideas out there and we get feedback and then we iterate on it and we're going to do that with every aspect of the game that we possibly can, and the economy is part of that. Another one is, uh, if we're a builder on our claim, will we have to worry about random hostile NBCs attacking us? Probably not, right? So uh -oh. there, there's, <laughs> I'm not going to answer that one. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of debate about uh, what we should and shouldn't do, and uh, 
I'm not sure that the players are going to come to consensus on this one. Cool, cool. I see. I like the fact that maybe that you could just make it an option. What if you wanted to set like a plot of land as a hostile place so that if players are wandering over it, maybe they would stumble on something. Uh, if it was a player that's like, no, 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 they could put up certain things that protect them and that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, obviously we have the mechanisms to allow it to be completely opt-in if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. We could make it claim-based and then nobody would ever have to worry about it. But we're not sure that we want to be that game. <laughs> well, there's there's just a lot of opinions about it. I mean, even even with the players that I've talked to, not, not to mention just the dev team, you know, there's a lot of different ideas of how we could do it, how it would be the most fun. Uh, and so we're investigating them. We're trying to figure out what we think makes the most sense. And once we have an idea, then we'll throw the, throw those ideas out there, and we'll uh, we'll see what people think. I like that plan. Well, the players have been uh, begging us to turn on falling damage without telling anybody either, because they want to see all the <laughs> pancakes everywhere. And then you all need glide. That's everybody needs glide to survive. <laughs> um, we'll. Yes, this is live. Uh, so that's funny. Somebody said, "Is this live?" Uh, okay. It is. <laughs> That's an so, easy question. That's a good one, yeah. Um, since SOE yes. Live will be during Gamescom in Germany, will Landmark actually be present there, or is it going to be only at uh, SOE Live? That's a really good question. I know that we won't be present there. We'll be in Vegas. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether we're at Gamescom or not. I haven't heard anything about it, so no one's talked to me about getting any machines set up or okay. accounts or anything, so... I'm going to I'm going to guess that the answer to that is no, but we'd have to check with uh with PR and marketing to see if they're planning on having any presence over there at all. Okay. Um and then a follow-up question to the economy. <laughs> this this is guys good. Um when would be a good time to post an idea about the economies for Landmark and EQ next? My guess I'm well, going to answer yeah. I'm going to answer for you. Now? Yeah. I mean <laughs> honestly, put put a post up there, send uh send me or Dave a personal message on the forum, something like that and we'll take a look at it because you can't get information too soon. You know, we may we may respond with, hey, we're not we're not working on that yet, but this is a great idea or we'll take a look at it when we do. But it's better to have the information before we make decisions than after. Cool. The easiest way to send me an idea uh, an idea is an in game email because I guarantee you I will not get a personal message on the forums. <laughs> I won't get it. I get way too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Or just I, I read them all. But uh, and I forward them to the appropriate people when I get them. But uh, Dave is way more popular than I am. I was just going to say, <laughs> how about just constantly uh, tweet at you two repeatedly until you finally notice someone? That could work too. <laughs> okay, that has okay. happened, and, and it's only it's only a, a, you know completely annoying. But yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I think I think that's the worst way to do it for me because I get so many things. Yeah. Oftentimes, I like, oh look, I haven't looked at, at my Twitter account in the past two hours and I come back and there's 130 you know <laughs> tweets that have come at me and I'm like oh well, I don't know that I'll see every single one be, of them to be fair it's only 140 characters I mean or less right <laughs> true um, uh, the one once I get is like uh, if you have just a second of time could you check out this link and you go there and it's like a 40 page document yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. like I, I can, I can get to this right away <laughs> I, I didn't really think you would take me to your dissertation I wasn't I wasn't hoping for that um, did you get a PhD doctor? <laughs> All right. Um, I guess. I guess for now, that that kind of that kind of does it. I think we're we're good and primed for a couple of weeks from now. Is there anything else you guys want to add for people to watch out for for Landmark uh, in the in the coming weeks? I guarantee you that after SOE Live, this is a different game. Yeah. Well, I mean, even even before then, I, one of the things we didn't mention was uh, that's on the on the blueprint is guilds are going to be going in soon. So that's going to be something that's going to be really great too. Yeah, yeah, and guild guild plots of land and guild sections of land and guild building and all that stuff will be available, won't it? Uh, eventually, Not yes. At the beginning, what we're doing is we're trying to let people self-organize okay. in the guild structures so that right. they can uh, be, uh, be able to get into the game and, and find each other and socialize and you know start to cohere. Uh, cohere? That's cohere. Yeah, let's make it one. Yeah, um, yeah what's up with the hell? Um, <laughs> here. Uh, <laughs> right yeah, there you go. Right now, uh, there's Angel Bay and Lay Spring Academy, and there's a couple other groups, and they've been self-organizing. But that's not the same uh, ease of uh, structure as it, it would be with guilds. And then once we have guilds, then we'll go to town with that stuff. Everybody wants to have guild towns down yeah. the line, all that other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah, be but really cool. But it'll start cool. off with. Uh, yeah, it'll start off with what you see in in uh, pretty much any MMO, right? You know, the ability to create that structure, have a communication channels. Yeah. 
things like that. Uh, that's what it's going to start with. All, all right I want to know. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. You be first. Well, okay. okay. Go ahead. You <laughs> all right. <laughs> when when can I? I wanna I wanna play as a dwarf or an orc. I'm just saying. In landmark. Just throwing that out there. Well, that's what a request next is for. I know, that's but I'm right. sick of these humies. All these humans sit staring me in the face all the time. <laughs> we are we are going to give you a lot more body options sometime Ooh, soon. Ooh, that's better. Um, so that the so that there will be a lot more variety of uh, of person inside of Landmark. Mm -hmm. But we we've had this long discussion about races from EverQuest Next. Um, mm -hmm. Norath is about those races in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, and so putting them into Landmark tends to make Landmark more fantasy-oriented than we really want it to be. We want it to be more uh, genre non-specific. And plus, if we let you play with those races all the time while you're playing Landmark, then when we unveil EverQuest next, it's really not all that special anymore. Good point. Good and we, point. And so we want Norath to be a special, very specific place, and that's really the reason why we're not putting the races into Landmark right now. Okay. Yeah. I told I can I can totally get behind that. That just means that we'll have EverQuest next to look forward to soon, right? <laughs> it's coming. You'll find what, out more about it as so we learn. There are we go. About? You can look forward to it already. That's true. As if we haven't <laughs> been know, doing I'm, that. I'm gonna talk about it at SOE Live, but we've been making uh, EverQuest next right in front of you. You just think it's called Landmark. Yeah. Do, I feel I feel like we've said that as a as a an MMORPG website we've told people that in articles and and it, for a while there when when Landmark was called EverQuest Next Landmark and EverQuest Next was EverQuest Next people were confused that they were two separate games there's still going to be two separate games like Landmark will live on beyond the point of Next cuz Next will be like the story that you want to tell within Norath correct Exactly. Absolutely. It's all the heroics and villainy and story and characters and all the drama. That's that's what EverQuest Next is. It's like you know Game of Thrones where you can control the plot. Yeah. It just goes crazy that way. Whereas Landmark is a world of imagination where anything can live, but everything is up to the players to decide what it is and what where it goes. But you'll get all the mechanisms and stuff, so you'll be able to do everything we can do. So Landmark will end up being a completely different flavor. It'll be quite awesome and you'll see that that vision will become more realized at SOE Live mm -hmm. uh, because right now Landmark looks like this big building thing because that's really what it is it's uh, like you know best of genre building game yeah. um, but when we start adding in all the other stuff that we unveil at SOE Live uh, I think that people will start to realize that it is truly something special yep and there's your teaser to end on folks <laughs> I, <laughs> I want a good one I want to thank uh, Terry and Dave for joining me today. I know you guys, it's probably getting about noon there, and you're probably hungry and uh, want to go eh. fill your bellies. Eh, eh, well, maybe I'm hungry. It's 3 o'clock here. It's time for second <laughs> lunch. Uh, but, <laughs> but thanks for stopping by, and everybody, thanks for watching. Again, you can jump into Landmark's uh, alpha period j simply by buying a Founders Pack right now, right? It's closed beta, actually. Closed beta, actually. Now. Closed beta. That yeah. just happened. Yeah. Um, and open beta is around the corner, uh, but not. We're not, we can't say how far around the corner. Nope. Not announced. Not announced. Not yet. Not yet. It will not be at SOE Live. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So if you want in, go buy a founders pack or find a key. There's lots there of ways go. to get in. So. There you go. Or bug them repeatedly on Twitter as they said they love already. <laughs> <laughs> it's our favorite thing. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks very much, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you uh, in a couple weeks at uh, at SOE Live. Yeah, looking forward to it. Take time. it easy, guys. Bye, guys. See you, Bill.